The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the March 28th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during the next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question, but you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send that off to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside that subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A bit of a mixed bag out there right now. Dow's off 24, S&P's up 3, Nasdaq's down 14, Russell's up 11, Semis are up 2, Trenny's up 83, Gold's up 23, Silver's up 27 cents, Lights Recruit is up a buck and a quarter, Natural Gas is up one penny, and 30-year Treasury print out at 12014. Now, our leader in the clubhouse is Restoration Hardware, RH is a ticker symbol up 48 bucks, 16%, Rex America up 11 bucks or 26%, Eli Lilly up 11 bucks, 1.5%, Coinbase up 10, three and a half percent, and MI Homes is up eight bucks. That's a seven, nearly six and a half percent move. To the downside, the Shakers are micro strategy, 194 bucks. That is a 10 percent move. Asimil Holdings down nine bucks, one percent. Site on uh, Site One Landscape Supply off seven bucks or four percent. Super Micro down three. Netflix is off six. So we've got some movers and we've got some shakers. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at, and uh, let's go take a look at the equity markets out there. Let's go switch panels out here. Let's get a feel for what's going on, which is a confusing message, I have to admit to you, um, and you'll see that here momentarily. So we're going to take a look at both the daily and the weekly equity profiles. June contract, of course, a proportion of the uh, slide, the upper row is the uh, daily, the lower is the weekly time frame. So what do we know about the weekly time frame on the ES? Last week, negated its TD9 count top. It remains above the top of its weekly profile. That's up at 52.57. This is giving us an intermediate term profile change in trend signal out there, just a continuation of its bullish move. Now, in order for this to really take off, price is going to have to close above its road momentum indicator high. Price is trading inside that swing point. That high is at 52.94. I'm sorry, is at 53.22.75. Today's high, 53.15 out there. Price should go tag that high. If it closes above it, you'll have a failed daily pattern, and you've got a weekly pattern that says price should move higher. The NQ is the fly in the financial ointment. That little bugger has still got a weekly TD9 count top, and it's got a daily road momentum indicator top. I don't see any threat, at least today, of that being taken out. So its message is cautious. But what we haven't seen is any kind of significant move to the downside. Now, the NQ does have a profile on its weekly time frame. The support zone is between 17,945 and 18,070 out there. If we take a look at the Dow, the Dow yesterday closed above that green oscillator and change line, closed inside its all-time swing point high, is still trading inside it, and is likely to go at least tag that high. That high is at 43.16. But much like the ES Mini, if price closes above that, it will negate its road momentum indicator top. The weekly time frame chart last week negated its TD9 count top, and here again we can see that price is trading above the top of its weekly profile. That's at 39.767. So the weekly charts for the ES Mini and the Dow Equity Future contract are in full-out blown bullish breakout mode 
But what they need to do on their daily time frame in order for that to really come to fruition is take out those TD, uh, take out those roads meant to mitigate or sign. Now let's take a look at the Russell 2000 because this is kind of interesting. On a daily time frame, it has a TD9 count top that formed on March the 8th. That high is 2146. We're at 2151 right now. If price closes above that, 2146 is the number, it negates that pattern. And those who are long the Russell 2000 should be celebrating. However, the spike higher this morning has actually taken us above the, that prior high from the week of March 8th, and that triggers bar number nine of a TD9 count. That says, I know this is, again, is, I'm just, I am just narrating the charts to you, and what you and I have got to do is uh, figure out what that means out here. So on a weekly time frame, you could have a TD9 count top at the same time. You could be have a daily time frame chart that is negating that same signal out there. So what's that mean? That would say to Stevie, that you would wait for another type of topping signal on the Russell 2000 on the daily time frame to then go along with that pot because the TD9 count top can complete that pattern next week. And that's what we would potentially be, that's what we would be looking for out there. So it's a confusing message, but it is a message and it's the message that I have to deliver for you. And it may be applicable to whichever instrument you are trading out there. So I do hope that that uh, helped you out with regard to that. Um, we could take a peek at what's going on from an intraday standpoint. Let's do that. No, idea where I've got this thing set right now, but whatever it is, whatever it is, it is the gold contract. Well, not where I was going to go, but we are going to go there because everything in life is happening for us. So let's take a look at Goldilocks. Goldilocks is also threatening to negate its TD9 count top. Now, that TD9 count top took place back here on March the 8th, and that high is 22.2330. We're at 22.3340 as we speak right now. A close above that will be a bullish out from outcome for gold, and what that would tell us... Where did I put that chart? Oh, I know. That would signal, so there's an A to B equals CD pattern that is also underway to the upside. Its initial price projection level is 23.27. I have to switch screens in order to take a look at that. Maybe we'll switch screens later on. But right now, that would be its signal. So we're saying that a close above 22.23.30 today should take price up to at least the 23.27 level. Now, as we take a look at its intraday charts, is there anything that's saying, hey, caution to the wind out here, Stevie? Not on the five hour, not on the four hour, and not on the two hour time frame. We get to a 60 minute, 30 minute chart, yes, and 15 and 10, yes, we've got some signals. For example, the 30 minute, a 60 minute time frame chart generated a roads meant to indicator top it took price all the way back to the support the bottom of its profile 22 22 20. i like that room 222 plus a few others out there so what you know what i know what we all know is if gold were to close below 22 22 20 that would tell us we've got lower price coming at us but right now this signal for the 60 minute time frame is neutral. Price consolidating with inside that profile resistance at the 22.3870 level. A similar type of message really from the 30 minute chart, so let's not belabor that. Same message from the 15, in other words, it got a top. It took price right back to support. Support is held. Those topping signals with support holding, those are bullish for gold. But nonetheless, gold still must close above 22.2330 in order to get out of the woods. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We come back to this break. Marcus wants to look at Platinum. GB wants to look at NEO. Jim wants to look at Procter & Gamble. Hector wants to take a look at Newmont Mining. S&P, ARWR, and SoFi. And Vic wants to take a look at SMR out there. Stevie's initials. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. 
And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Yesterday we had a request to take a look at uh, Platinum. Didn't come in, I believe, until the end of the show out there. Uh, so we've got those charts up on our screen. We are trading the July contract. Now, for the monthly and weekly time frame, I have to put the continuous contract up in order to get enough data to take a look at what's going on. What I can say about the uh, weekly time frame chart is there's a consolidation, and the range is between 849.30 and 10.16.20. So that's the larger picture. If we look at the daily time frame chart out here, what I can see right now is that price is back inside of profile and if it can close today above 919.50 that would be a positive signal now where could price go to 937 or 959 but let's take a look at the other charts out here to get a feel for where resistance might be so for example the 30 minute time frame chart has an a to b equal cd pattern we can see that price is along the left hand side of that uh, c to d leg price should continue to rally in fact the there was a bearish shooting star candle that formed let me get the uh time frame out here and it was negated immediately. So it formed at on a 30-minute basis. It formed at uh, uh, 1030 this morning. And by 11 o'clock, price closed above that high and negated that. So the, the, the move along that C to D leg tells us this should do more than a one-to-one. -one. So this is suggesting that should move higher. I take a look at the 60-minute chart. Nothing suggests otherwise. The same on the two-hour chart. It is the four-hour time frame chart that you've got to be paying attention to. Why? Because it has been proven to us that 926, the TD9 count breakdown level, has been a area of resistance. So therefore, if you can see platinum close above 926, doesn't have to do it today. It's a four-hour time frame chart that we're looking at. But if it does close above that, then I go back to the daily chart and say that tells us we're headed to 937.90 and above that 959.70. So uh, Marcus, hope that helped you out with regard to the review of platinum. And thanks for waiting a day for that. The next request coming in from GB. This also came in late yesterday, and this is to take a look at ticker symbol NIO. So we're going to get back to those charts versus the Goldilocks charts out here. And let's take a look at NEO. So NEO uh, yesterday completed a TD nine count bottom pattern for its daily time frame. What this tells us also is a wave seven bottom. Looks like that's going to go ahead and confirm today. It won't confirm today if price closes or ticks below yesterday's low. But right now, price is dealing with profile support. So you've got a TD nine count bottom. 
And what you're really looking for today in a NEO is a close back above the bottom of that new daily profile. That's what it's testing right now. That number is 466. I have us at 462. If price closed below 466 with that new profile today, then it makes this TD9 count bottom somewhat suspect. The, but the only way to negate that signal would be a close below yesterday's low. That number is 445. So I would hesitate on telling you to go long right now because price is trading below the bottom of that profile. We'd really have to go study the intraday charts. So that's what I would suggest that you do, GB, is go take a look at those. On a weekly time frame, we are in wave number seven. Now, that needs a higher low to confirm that pattern. So the earliest would be next Friday for that. We're also in a wave seven pattern on the monthly time frame. Well, that means you couldn't get that signal until ne next month. So you got to take things one step at a time. You've got the nice bottoming signals here in NEO that daily giving that first um, a piece of information. But now the concern again is the bottom of that profile. So watch that 466. If price closed about 466 today, what you should see is a rally up towards its oscillator and change line around the 486 level. If price can overcome that, then price should go target its sell zone. And the sell zone is between 507 and 518. So that's what I've got with regard to Neo. Hope that helps you out. Jim wrote in this morning, watch, take a look at Procter & Gamble. PG is the ticker symbol. So, Jim G., uh, let's take a look at it. What do we know? Right now, what it's trying to do is take out profile resistance. It closed above it yesterday, it being 162.49. If we close above 162.49 today, then you have uh, a bullish signal for its daily time frame. Now, what also took place yesterday was a TD sequential 13 count form. And that says that could be a significant high. We'll, we'll go take a look at the other charts to see if that's the case or not. What you're looking for here, in order for that pattern to confirm, you need to see a close below the close of the bar four bars earlier. Well, we don't have that as we speak right now. You could get that. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. You need to, you need to see a close below. 161.66 in order to execute that pattern. You've got support at 161.03 to 161.52. That's its buy zone out there. So right now, it's just a consolidation. Do I have a top? Um, the answer is I do not have a top out here. Um, a bearish reversal candle would confirm a top on the daily time frame. Okay, daily time frame, we know we've already covered that in its struggles. The weekly time frame has a TD9 count top that is going to be negated this week if price closes above the high from February 23rd, and that's 161.74, we're at 162.38. So watch that. You'd love to see that TD9 count pattern fall by its side. You'd love to see price close above 162.49 because that would suggest we're headed higher. Now, headed higher to where? Jim, the headed higher to where would be the uh, not that much higher, quite frankly. It's the TD9 count on the monthly time frame, and that's up at 165.35. Now, that swing point did 195 million shares. We're trading inside that swing point as we speak right now with 110 million shares. So it's coming to that swing point with lighter volume. Doesn't mean it can't go test the high. It just means if it was coming in with volume, I would then say, I would narrate the chart and then say price is going to go at least tag that high. So you're moving into that level um, with lighter volume. Don't know what it's going to do out here, but the weekly chart looks like it's going to gate its signal, TD9 count. The daily chart, again, may get a, a, a nice close above that top of that profile. And then that combined set of information would say that Procter & Gamble should go target as high. So, Jim, I hope that helped you out with regard to that review. Hector and Patty would love to take a look at Newmont Mining. MEN is a ticker symbol. They're really interested in the weekly time frame. And the question is, is there an A to B equal CD pattern that is forming? And my response to that is no, there is not. Not on the weekly or the monthly time frame. And let me share with you the reason why. The A point is very easy for us to identify in the weekly chart. It would be the low from March the year 1st. The B point right now, we'd have to go to the highest high that we see. Um, and that would be, well, I mean, to, not, not not this week, not including this week out there. Um, and that high would have to be last week's high. But then for the low, I'd have to use last week's low. And Stevie doesn't like to do that. To me, that's not really what the A to B equals CD pattern is all about. If you look at the monthly time frame, there's absolutely no A to B equals CD pattern that has formed as we speak just yet. So here's what we do know. The daily time frame 
could form an A to B equals C D. So let's take a look at that pattern out here. And that pattern, the A to B is pretty easy to draw. We'll do that. The A point, that's pretty easy. That low from February 28th. So you take that low, and then we're going to do out here is we're going to go to what is labeled bar number B, part of the Chapman Wave Tools, but a very small part. That's going to be our A to B move. We're going to go ahead and copy and paste, copy, paste, and now move that to the C point. That's going to be the lowest low that forms after the B point out there. Well, the B point has volume. This is the trading day of March the 11th. Has volume of 20 million shares. Today, in just under two hours of trading, this has done 4.5 million shares. We just multiply that times three. This says we are not going to take out that swing point with volume. Maybe we do, but right now the math is kind of suspect out there. But if we did close above Hector and Patty, um, the uh, 3546 level with more than 20 million 370 thousand shares out there the daily time frame would confirm an A to B equals CD its price projection would be 3929 the weekly is trading above profile resistance so where does it want to go it wants to go wherever the daily is going to take us to in the monthly its next resistance level is at 3808 Steve Rhodes with TFNN we'll be right back Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50% and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day, 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, up, folks. Let's go take a look at ticker symbol ARWR. That's Arrowhead Pharmaceuticals. It's for S&P inside our Tiger's Den. If we take a look at the uh, daily time frame, and I don't have any kind of a bottoming pattern. doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed. It just means that the patterns that I used aren't present. What we can share with you, though, is price is trading with inside its bullish structure daily profile. And right now, price is uh, signaling to us that it wants to take out the center. It's bullish st structure. And a close today above 28.76 S&P should take us up towards the 30.50 level, the top of its daily profile. On a weekly time frame, we're trading below support, and we're trading below a red oscillator and change line. So it really is the daily time frame that is controlling things here. Now, the weekly's resistance area is at 3034 or thereabouts. 3052 is the top of the weekly profile. So as price would be getting up there, you'd be hitting both daily and weekly resistance. On a monthly time frame, all we have for Arrowhead Pharmaceuticals is a good old-fashioned consolidation with inside profiles. That range out here is between 2285 at support and 3812 as resistance. That's what I see. We take a look at ARWR. S&P also wanted to take a look at SOFI out there. So let's pull up those charts. SOFI is a ticker symbol. And if we look at it, what do we see out here? Let me pull this daily time frame chart back. Uh, very similar to the last chart we looked at. I don't see any kind of a bottoming signal. Doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed. Why does it mean it may not have bottomed? Well, it may have bottomed is really what I'm trying to say. Why? Because it's generated a profile change in trend signal back on March the 20th. Price remains above the top of that daily profile. So that says, okay, I want to head higher. Now, the weekly time frame chart, what did it do? It has a swing point that was tested. It's a swing point from November 24th. That swing was, uh, I had 140 million shares. This was tested twice. Last week, it was tested with 110. 110 going against 140. That's a test and rejection on lighter volume. The week before that test was on 273. So that told us price should get back down there, which it did last week. And now on the weekly basis, you got a test rejection of a swing point. As Tom would like to say, if you can't bust in the downside, price will try to bust in the upside. Now, the thing about busting things to the upside, you still have to clear resistance. So on a weekly time frame, where is resistance? 798. So now that suggests that on the daily time frame, that is where price is going to go target. The monthly, a consolidation with inside profile levels. And I would say between 443, quite frankly, and 953, about a $5 move out there. So that's what I see, S&P, when I take a look at the stock charts for SoFi. I hope that information helped you out. Vic wants to take a look at SMR. So as we take a look at that, SMR is doing what? Well, it is consolidating with inside its daily profile. It is right up against that key resistance area, and that is the center of its bullish structured area. Both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value between 457 and 776, right here at the 577 level out there. So that area was tested yesterday. It was tested again today. So far, that is held. So those people that are long SMR, you'd love to see it close above 577. Why? Because that would tell us we're on our way to 776. We take a look at the weekly chart out there. One heck of an Eiffel Tower move, so to speak, with price coming back and basically testing support, which was at 357. It didn't get all the way down to 357 this week. It got down to the level of 379. The daily time frame chart right now is – is uh, so the weekly chart is actually still in a bullish mode out here because price remains above uh, the top of its profile as well as its oscillator and change line. And on a monthly time frame, I don't have a whole heck of a lot out there. So real quickly here, let's take a look at the 30-minute chart. The 30-minute chart shows you've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. That top formed at uh, 10 o'clock this morning. So what you're looking for here, additional proof that this would want to add higher, is negating that signal. And that would require a close of $5.79. Now, support out here is at $5.20. So nothing wrong with that signal. Price tested support on that, uh, on that signal at 
The price were to close below that, that says we had lower. Close above 579, we had higher. So the call is pretty easy. Now we just have to figure out what is price going to do. That, I don't know, but we do know what the parameters are. So, Vic, I hope that helped you out with regard to SMR. Duncan Steve inside the Tiger's Den wants to take a look at uh, Walmart out here. Let's pull up the Walmart charts. I believe it's Walmart. Up oh, WM. Is that Walmart or Waste Management? That is Waste Management. Okay, not Walmart. WMT would be Walmart. So Waste Management out there. Let's go take a look at what it is doing. So let's pull this daily time frame chart back. And what do we have? I see, uh, I spy, <laughs> I see a teeny Nike pattern that was negated. I see a Roach Bentham indicator top that was negated. It was negated yesterday. I see a wave number seven top that's still in place out there. The earliest that could be confirmed would be Monday. So what Waste Management is telling you and I on its daily time frame, it wants to head north out there. North would be 215.65. That's its daily oscillator and change line. And how about the weekly chart? The weekly chart is more bullish than the daily chart. The weekly chart is trading above profile and a green oscillator and change line. It is in full breakout mode out there. So that says it wants to head higher. Head higher to where? The monthly chart is in full breakout mode. So what should we do, Stevie? Let's go back to those black background charts because then I can at least draw in the A to B equals CD patterns and give Duncan an idea of where waste management appears to be headed to. Uh, so let's get to those black background charts and let's take a look at the monthly first. Maybe a moment. The weekly may be the same, but let's just open up this monthly chart. And where are we going to draw in the A to B equals CD? We got lots of options, but let's look at the one that is the most conservative. The most conservative is going to start out at the 2020 low, I'm thinking. Yep, March 2020 low out there. Now, the B point, in order for this to get at least potentially a 3.8, a 0.382 retracement, the B point I would use would be from April the 1st because price pulls back and test support the bottom of that bullish structured profile out there. And it's about 37%. So that qualifies as a 0 0.382 retracement. So we use the swing point from April the 1st. That swing point, April the 1st, yeah, April of 2022, we're on a monthly time frame. That had 35 million shares. That has been passed with 30 million, 31 million, 26 million this month. Um, 29 million. Even though it hasn't passed with volume, you can see the A to B equals CD patterns in effect. So, uh, are you wanted Walmart, not WM? Well, you're going to get a twofer. Um, or were you telling me that uh, WMT is Walmart? I, 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 too many things going on on my screen here for me to be able to answer that question. But I can share with you that waste management appears to be headed towards 233.73 out there. Now, as you know, if you only do a 0.382 retracement, odds favor you do more than a one to one out there. The more than the one to one on a monthly time frame for waste management is 246. Let's go see what the weekly time frame chart is signaling to you and I. Is there anything different out here? Pull this back. Not really. We'd pretty much use the same swing points on this as well. So I don't see anything on the weekly time frame. So there you go for problem okay we'll do walmart you wanted walmart we're gonna do walmart we're going to a break we come back to this break we're gonna look at the charts for walmart for duncan steve then we're gonna take a look at bbn uh big b is looking for an entry point steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets. With updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers, whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So we got the uh, right charts up on our screen. We're taking a look at Walmart here. And Walmart formed a Rogemontum indicator top back on March the 22nd. Um, was that the beginning of the week? No, that was uh, Friday of last week out there. Now, what that did was it took price back to support, and support here being the top of its daily profile. So price is still above the top of its daily profile, which is 60.50. And the price remains above that. Its overall signal for the daily time frame is neutral. The weekly time frame, there is no top that I see out here. What there is is a new profile that is formed. So we have support and resistance levels. Support is between the range of 59.34 and 59.92. Resistance is up at 61.66. The monthly time frame chart for Walmart shows a confirmed A to B equals CD. Now price has attained the one to one price level. But what we can see here is price on the monthly chart is on the left side of that C to D leg. This is suggesting to you and I that price should do more than the one to one. Look, no matter what it suggests, if you were to get a monthly bearish reversal candle that would be the end of that a to b equals cd pattern but that's not what we have right now so monthly is suggesting we had higher weekly is suggesting the same but it's got a roadblock up at 6166 and in the case of walmart for the daily time frame it has a roadblock and that's also up at 6166 so duncan you got both waste management and walmart anything with a wm in it we'll go ahead and take a look at that as well let's move on to our next request out here and that is from big b and big b is looking for an entry point into uh, bvn so as we pull up the charts for bvn what do we see out here well first i see a td9 count top on a daily time frame with price trading below the bottom of that daily profile. That's a little stinker out there. That says it wants to go target its breakout level. So the first potential buy area at this moment in time, Big B, is at $15.26. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, we have a Rosemontum indicator signal. We have a TD sequential signal. We don't have either of those patterns confirmed just yet. But we do have price trading below its green oscillator and change line. That tells us it has lost its momentum. Well, if it's lost its momentum, where is support? 1516. So right now, the price target area that we would provide to you would be between 1516 and 1526. And if price closed below 1516, that says that that is definitely not the buy area out there. The monthly time frame chart says prepare for a potential top. 
between this week and the next two. Why? This is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. In order for bar number nine to complete, price must close above. So we're at 1601 right now. This will be next uh, this uh, next month out there. In order for buyer number nine to complete, all price has to do is close above $9.54. It seems to me like those are pretty decent odds that on a monthly time frame, you're going to get a TD9 count top that's going to form or com conform between this week and the next two out there. So watch this. And, and so that then says you really need to watch those support levels, 1516 and 1526. And you want to really see some type of good bottoming action on an intraday time frame chart 30 minute 65 130 195 something along those lines out there and you want to see something like this which on the current 30 minute chart has a roads momentum indicator bottom pattern that formed at four o'clock yesterday afternoon now price is trading below its new profile out there so that level is likely to be tested i'm sorry 1596 is actual support on a 30 minute time frame but forget the 30 minute the daily the weekly and the monthly are the ones that say caution will robinson so i hope that helped you out big b thanks so much for the request out there We'll look forward to your next request as well. Bob in Spokane wants to take a look at Nordic American tankers. NAT is the ticker symbol out there. So what do we see here? Let's open up the daily. Is there an A to B equal C to the downside? Most certainly there is. And that was confirmed on the uh, as a buy the D point pattern on the trading day of March the 21st. There's also a TD sequential bottom. That formed uh, that that the signal generated on March the 20th. Have we had a close above the bar four bars earlier? Uh, not on that one. One, two, three. Not on that one. Not on one, two, three, four. Yes, you did get that. So we got a confirmed signal on March the 25th out there. What you'd really love to see is for price to stay above this oscillator and change on to 391 Nordic American tankers. Now, Bob, even though we've got those bottoming signals, there is still a battle up top. And that first battle is going to be at four dollars. The second battle is going to be at four oh five. Now it is a slightly bullish structured profile that price had closed below. So that says if price doesn't clear four oh five, that Nordic American NAT Nordic American tankers could that could signal that that's just a counter trend move for its time frame. But you have a valid buy the D point pattern and battles up ahead those levels we provided to you on a weekly time frame. You're going to get a TD nine count bottom pattern that forms this week. So, and it will complete next week. Uh, so I like the daily now, I like the weekly. How about the monthly? The positive thing about the monthly is nothing. <laughs> Shoot, let me see here. It's got a TD9 count top that formed way back in March of 2023, way back a year ago. The high was 465. That high is, let me make sure. Close 459. That high has still not been taken out. So what we do know is that is a significant level of resistance. If Nordic American tankers on a monthly basis ever close above 465, then we probably are off to the races. So right now, consolidation inside the weekly profile. Daily should go target four, then 405. You've got 410 as resistance on the weekly. Bob, I hope that that helps you out. And I need a swig of water. Sorry about that, folks. Don't know why the throat dried up like that, <clears throat> but it did, and it's still kind of dry out there. Not what I want coming into a holiday weekend. In any event, let's go take a look at gold. G-O-L-D is the ticker symbol. Bob also wants to take a look at this. Now, on a daily time frame, Bob, what you have is a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. That was confirmed yesterday. The B point was the uh, trading uh, day of March the 8th. The high there was 1609. The volume was 23 million shares. You passed it yesterday with the volume of 28 million shares. So now you've got a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. We can see that this B to C retracement is less than a point three two. I'm sorry, it's less than a 0.618 retracement. That tells us this should do more than a one-to-one. -one. Now, the one-to-one is going to take us up towards the 1750 level. I'm not using the exact numbers here just because I don't have them with this tool that I'm using. But this is suggesting that uh, uh, what GOLD should do is more than a one-to-one -one move. Now, what you like on the weekly time frame is the fact that price is trading above the top of its weekly profile. And that's at $16.26 out there. So close today above that is going to suggest a consolidation change in trend for the weekly time. Time frame. Perfect. Where's price going to head? We just reflect, we resort back to the daily A to B equals CD pattern. There's no reason for us to look elsewhere out there. On a monthly time frame, price is within inside his profile. It closed this week, this month, 
I should say, took today, really above 1615, is going to suggest a move up to the 1881 level. So we got 1750 to 1881 as the price targets for GOLD. Today is only going to be day number two to the upside out here. So if we pull these charts back, Last time we had a run was a four-bar move. The time before, I'm sorry, the, the time before that was a four-bar move. The last one was a six-bar move. That was signaling to us that this was getting ready to make a change in trend. So that's what I see when I take a look at GOLD. Bob, I hope that that helps you out with regard to um, this instrument. Uh, it looks like inside the Tiger's Den there was a request for Steve. C-W-H, please. Jimmy. So let's go do that here. C-W-H. Let's get that in. And, uh, well, we're going to take a look at that during the breakout there. So that's CWH. We're going to look at what else? Ciro, C-E-R-O as well. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Hey folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50% and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the stock charts for CWH. This is for Jimmy D inside the Tiger's Den. This is Camping World Holdings. So what's Camping World Holdings doing? Well, you like today's activity. Why is that? Because price is taking out a TD9 count breakdown resistance level. So, Jimmy, I'd love to see you close today above 2789. Now, it's also moving into a swing point that formed back on March the 8th. That swing point had volume of 1.1 million shares. So far today, you're up with 350,000. So you're kind of moving into that with similar to lightish type volume out there. 
here. Um, so, but price should go at least tag that high. At least that's what the daily time frame chart is signaling to you and I at the moment. On a weekly time frame, prices trade above profiles. Price price trade above a green oscillator and change line. Those are bullish conditions, period, end of story. Where's price set it to? Well, you see it's got this Three River Evening Star candle formation. That sets up a resistance point, not a top, a resistance point. So you need to see it close above 28.72 to suggest to move up to the 32.27 level. And on a monthly time frame, your next resistance area is up at 31.21. So we like what we see here with regard to camping world. Uh, you'd like to see more volume as it moves into that swing point, but that's okay. It still hasn't gotten up to the top, but it should. So that's what I see when we take a look at that. Uh, we want to take a look at uh, for Dan, I believe it is. Um, somebody wanted to take a look at Ciro. I think it was Dan. Uh, so, Dan, today's activity is forming on a daily time frame, a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, and a close above the top of its profile. The top of its profile is at 276, will generate a profile change in trend. Turns out you're going to have bar number eight form this week. Bar number nine, in order for that to form, you need to see a close next week below $3.95. So you'd like to see it rally. You just don't want to see it. Um, you know, you'd love to see that TD9 count bottom confirm next week out there. That's what we see when we take a look at Ciro. The last request is a take a look at Oscar, O-S-C-R, and an entry point for Marvin. Well, Marvin, right now you're getting a profile change in trend. A close above 14.53 is going to put this in all-out bullish mode out there. So the entry point would have been probably down around that 13.67 level. The weekly time frame chart says, hey, if this can close above 1483, it's off to those races. And I would say the races would be about $17.30 out there. Folks, have a fabulous weekend out there. I'll look forward to seeing you on Marvelous Monday. Be safe. And uh, thanks so much for joining us this week. Take care.